Good morning, SP Moms. My name is Ricky, and today is a very, very special day. We are celebrating National Hashtag Growth Check Day, and today I have with us two very special guests. The first one is Dr. June Dimaano. He is the Medical Director of Abbott Nutrition Philippines. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning to all our viewers, and I'm happy to be here. It's so nice to uh, have you here, Doc. We're going to ask you a lot of really good questions okay. in just a little bit. But let me introduce our second guest. She is the gorgeous mom of Kira. Please welcome Miss Melissa Ricks. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Lady. Good morning, Dr. Chu. Good morning. And of course, all of our SP moms. Hi, SP. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hello okay, well, to good morning everyone. to both of you. Thank you so much for being here with me. I have a lot of questions for both of you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start off with Dr. June. Dr. June, what exactly is National Hashtag Growth Check Day? Okay, Growth check day is a day uh, specially marked so that moms can be reminded to measure the uh, growth of their child. It only means that you have to monitor yung paglaki ng mga anak ninyo, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to weight, yung timbang, at yung height, or yung pagtag pagtangkad ng anak ninyo. So um, why are we um, emphasizing the importance of uh, measuring the height and weight? Because these are very important indicators of the health of the child. Okay. So uh, it's good to be reminded to measure their height and weight at least once a month. Once, once a month? Yeah, especially, <laughs> in the first, like, especially in the first five years of life because the child really important grows very fast. Progress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. See, ako hindi ko alam yun. I, yeah. <laughs> I had no idea that kailangan pala once a month. But yeah, it's also, even if you're, let's say your child is not sick, you can bring them to the doctor, to the yes. pediatrician, mm -hmm. to check the, the growth the of the growth. child. Because they have standards to use. Yes. And they can use like the WHO growth chart mm -hmm. to measure the appropriate right. um, height for the age of the child. Yeah, actually, I, I don't know about you, Melissa, but that's what I do to my children. Mm -hmm. And there's always, she always tells me, oh, you're on the right track, yeah. or oh, medyo lumilis ka, you have to, you know, pa, pa inumin ulit ng milk. Tama. Um, but, you know, if if you're at home, and I don't know if you do this as well, Melissa, pero ako minamark ko yung sa, yung sa so pintuan. Well. Yes! Uh, with like their little initials and stuff like that. Do you that. also do that? How old is Kira? Kira just turned four. Okay. Four lang niya. Okay. Tapos mi measure mo rin yung height niya. Oh, I think for her age, was sobrang bibo niya, sobrang energetic niya. And I think for her age, talagang she's matangkad. Matangkad siya. Matangkad for her age. Very good. So since you're talking about how to measure the, the height of the child, yeah. we have this uh, tinatawag natin growth chart. Something growth like chart. this, no? Okay. Um, so we have this in Abbott. Um, it now it, it indicates the uh, the appropriate height for the age of the child, mm. and it's uh, according to the, the gender, boys or girls, yes. because they uh, they grow in a different different rates. No, so uh, you can ask for this through our website. It's called Alagang Abbott uh, Facebook uh, page. And you can also call um, our number um, 995-1555 to request for a free growth chart. Oh, walang bayad, yes, walang bayad. It's free! And they can yeah. also go to oh, the nice. pediasure.com.ph um, mm -hmm. uh, website mm -hmm. so that they can click on the growth milestones and they can see there what would be the appropriate height for the age of their child. Yeah, so if they don't have time to go to the doctor, because oh. every month, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they can just get this for free, and then mahabol nila yes. yung height. No? Instead of just marking it on the wall, because yes. yes. naman alam kung talagang yun ba yung okay. proper uh -oh. height for the, uh -oh. the age of the child. Okay. So I hope my, my husband is watching. Please uh, <laughs> call the number. Let's get this free chart. I, I couldn't help but notice, Doc, no? may yeah. nakalagay dito. The first five years is a critical window for growth. That's, uh, that's, that's right. That's a fact? That is a fact. Okay. May kasabihan nga na sinasabi short at five, short for life. No! But don't lose hope. I, this is just a call to action yeah. for parents out there na bata pa yung mga anak, mas maganda to act in a timely manner by mm -hmm. giving them the right nutrition, complete and balanced, energy-dense food para uh, masupport yung paglaki ng anak sa first five years of life. Kasi dito nangyayari yung very um, high rate of growth, yung growth okay. spurt na tinatawag. Okay. And that has to be supported nutritionally by mm -hmm. giving a complete and balanced uh, nutrition, mm -hmm. such as an oral nutritional supplement mm -hmm. supplementation, such as Pediasure mm -hmm. Plus. I see. Okay, okay, go ahead, Melissa. Yeah, because like my daughter, she was a picky eater. Mm -hmm. And then we started to give her yung Pediasure Plus. She's been using it for a year already because she's okay. more. Um, and that during that time when she was drinking it, she parang she was gaining appetite na. She started to eat, and now she's eating na. 
Yeah, I try to put, uh, I incorporate nga rin vegetables and fruits. Okay. And kasama na rin yung milk. It's okay. possible oh. because it's high energy. If you give a high energy uh, food to the child, the appetite also becomes um, stronger or bigger. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the child can eat more diversified yes. food. Because one of the oh, concerns the of parents is yeah. picky eating. When, you're, uh, when the child is a picky eater, medyo nalilimit yung different mm -hmm. types of nutrients na pumapasok sa katawan niya. So kayo ba, ano yung experience niyo sa anak niyo about picky eating? Nakakaiyak, Dok. Grabe. We could sit here for hours <laughs> really? and I could tell you. And, and I'm sure all of our SP moms who are watching now and maybe SP dads, you know, you probably have picky eaters as well. You might want, mm -hmm. you know, some tips. I'm sure them. kasi marami nagsasabi sa akin na eh, anak nila, picky eaters. Yeah. So, so how, do you, um, how do you address that? Uh, one way is by, you know, by giving a complete and balanced um, oral nu nutritional supplement such as Pediasure Plus. Because at least for, for this one, for, the, for milk, you can measure the, the caloric intake mm -hmm. and at the same time ensure that um, the child gets the different types of growth nutrients that yeah. the child needs. Because mm -hmm. if a picky eater, siya, nare puro fried chicken, lang, fried chicken or fries or noodles, you nutrients it's lang like you're describing my niya. son. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> because it's a common problem yeah. among parents. So they like salty or kung hindi salty, yung mga matatamis sa pagkain. Which is calorically dense, yes, but poor in nutritional value. Yeah. Kasi kulang sa micronutrients, saka hindi right. diversified yung nutrients. Mm -hmm. So it's good to get it from uh, an ONS, an oral nutritional supplement such as PDR Plus. See, okay, so I, j just in case, you know, before we move on, um, if you happen to be watching this, SP Moms and Dads, we would like to invite you uh, to educate your friends as well. So, kung gusto nyo mag like, comment, and share this live video just so that your friends can know more about, of course, the national hashtag Growth Check Day. Growth Check Day. Mm -hmm. Growth yes. Check Day. Okay, so now that we're in the topic of nutrition and how crucial the first five years are, um, I, I want to ask about genes. Okay. Kasi ako. May dalawa kong anak. I'm small, and my husband is a six footer. Oh, so, wow. how? What does that mean? How for old are they now? My, I, I have, I have. Uh, they're well. One is two, and the other one is ten months. Oh wow! Very young. yeah. So pani yun. Ganito, um, again, um, they can go to the pediasure.com.ph website because we have a height predictor, sort of an app there, mm -hmm. where you can input certain data from the parents, okay. the height of the mom, the height of the dad, and that can predict the height of the child at 19 years of age. Wow. So more or less you will know if they will fall. But it's not like cast in stone. Of course, yeah. there are other factors that can no influence the height at 19, but at okay. least you have an idea of the potential mm -hmm. of the child at 19. Yeah. So you can go there to check that out. Now, you talked about genes. Si Melissa, matangkad. Yeah, so, Melissa's So, siguro mga anak niya. Uh -oh. automatically will think that tatangkad mm -hmm. din kasi matangkad yung parents. It's true that genes have an influence on the height of the child pag okay. adult. However, at the first five years of life, your influence ng genes is only about 20 to 40 percent. That little? That little, oh. Which okay. gives us now a lot of hope for your Filipinos, <laughs> right? Yes. Because at least meron pa tayong 60 to 80 percent na window where we can act, intervene, uh, nutritionally and yeah. other interventions like sleep, physical activity, mm -hmm. exercise that can help you know stimulate the growth of mm -hmm. the child. Kaya ako sinasabi yung short at five, short for life kanina kasi yung first five years doon tayo pwede mag-act on the remaining 60 to 80 percent mm -hmm. na hindi na determine ang genes. I see. Ayun. Okay, so that's that's good to know. That's good to know. Um, good to yeah, know. it means that we uh, kaya nga ngayon napapansin ko like yung time namin older generation, mm -hmm. parang hindi kami ganun katatangkad. But now, the younger generation, they're taller, di yeah. Probably because also of the food that they're getting. That's right. And the availability of certain, you know, nutritional yeah. supplements such as Pediasure Plus. We've been sending players abroad, yeah. you know, we've been mm -hmm. developing all of these really tall, athletic volleyball players That's locally. Right. So That's I think, right. you know, we have to do, be doing something right. That's right. Right? Okay, However, so, stunting is still a problem in yeah, the Philippines. it is. Okay, so talking about stunting, Melissa, what does Kiera's plate of food look like now? Because, you know, you said she's four. Yes. You know, what does, what does her... What does her meal time look uh, like? Nga, lately, she has been eating more and more. Because before, okay. talagang totally she was uh, relying on eating sugar. Okay, okay, mga yeah. six. Sabi ko kay, kay Doc, sabi ko, okay lang po ba yun na um, five, mga four to five glasses siya a day? Kasi nakasulat, recommended is two glasses per day. Okay. So she kept doing that, kept doing that. And then eventually nga, she started eating it. Itong lately. 
And I try to incorporate nga yung lalagyan ng fish, mm -hmm. uh, lalagyan ng konting mga proteins, kasi mm -hmm. kailangan mo talaga yun for, yung yes. parang yung building block yeah. ng mm -hmm. growth uh -oh. ng isang baka. Uh -oh. And then true. I still try to put in the milk. And also on the Pediasure um, website, yeah. Um, they have ingredients that you can make um, smoothies for the kids, ah. um, healthy bars, mm -hmm. um, cupcakes, macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes. So it's not just a beverage There's that a you lot drink. of ways that yeah. you can incorporate it. There oh. are creative ways, especially for picky eaters, yes. Yes. creative ways to incorporate Pediasure Plus mm -hmm. into the recipe. Oh. For some of them, are smoothies, oh. waffles, yes. uh, gelatin, you macaroni. Yes. Yes. And so yeah, mga desserts and snacks, yes. you can incorporate Pediasure Plus to ensure that you have the appropriate, the right nutrients that they need for growth. Okay, so if you're just tuning in, SP Moms and Dads, we are here with uh, Doc June Dimaano. We also have Melissa Ricks, and we've been talking about National Growth Check Day. I have a question. Since we're talking about uh, stunted growth, how do parents know, or any mga signs na kailangan nalang, you know, tutukan if their child isn't growing at a normal pace? Okay, um, aside from the obvious, the medyo, uh, Ano siya, delayed yung growth niya compared to the Iwan. peers. So, okay. naiwanan uh -huh. siya. No? So, aside from that, kasi minsan, uh, hindi mo ito mapapansin talaga eh. Kasi minsan, wala, kung walang sakit yung bata, hindi mo siya mapapansin. Okay. No? Uh -huh. So, it's important to always, you know, go to the pediatrician or if you have a growth chart on your own, then you can measure the, the height of the child mm -hmm. and see if the child lags behind or has faltering growth. But one of the indirect ways to look at it is by looking at the the, the appetite the and appetite. also the, uh, the the behavioral um, manifestations such as picky eating mm -hmm. and another thing is immunity kapag kasakitin yung bata pag mahina yung immune system then pwede rin yun mag-affect ng growth ng bata so that's one of the more common red flags that is not really associated yeah. in the minds of parents to growth akala nila bigyan lang na oh, antibiotic oh. malakas oh, na yung resistensya actually hindi na siya magkaka-infection. Pero, kailangan makontrol yun kasi may effect yung infections sa growth ng bata. Yeah, katulad si, like, si Kara. Okay. It, it's bad na nagkakasakit sila. Not only do they miss out on school and it's hard to catch up, pero yung growth nila, affected din. Yeah. So, it's good to be healthy all the time. Yes. Nakumpleto yung nutrients. Para hindi sick, hindi na rin absent. Correct. Hindi na rin tayo mahihirapan magkahabol sa oh, work. Oh, ganyan. So, yun. So, yeah, I, I as a as a mom of a picky eater, I just I just need tips, mm -hmm. alam on how to how to sort of ease the vegetables mm -hmm. and the proteins and mm -hmm. the good food into their diet. Yes, um, right. again, merong, I, some doctors, especially uh, the behavioral developmental pediatricians, pero kahit na yung mga general pediatricians, alam din nila yung techniques on how to uh, uh, to uh, prepare food, you know, they can give advice to the parents para mas maging attractive to, to the kid. May tinatawag na food chaining. Parang it's the same fried chicken, pero you modify it little by little, week by week. Lalagay mo ng, ng sauce, gagawin mo fried. Wow. But it's the same. Uh, may techniques to Sana may sort tutorial of... tutorial ng ganun, no? <laughs> you can ask your doctor. So, maraming this, ways to uh, yeah. introduce different types of food to the child. Okay. You can ask your doctor about mm -hmm. that. Okay. So, you know, one of my last questions would have to be, like, what food should moms prepare for their mm -hmm. kids so that the nutrition is right on track and their growth as well is, you know, right on track? And specifics. Okay. okay. Specifics. Okay. So, um... Meron tayong tinatawag na, in the Philippines, na pinggang Pinoy or yung uh, Pinoy, okay. healthy plate. No? Mm -hmm. So for kids, it's, it's for different ages, but for kids, it's roughly about one-fourth uh, protein, like mm -hmm. lean meats and fish, mm -hmm. then one four, a little more than one-fourth of uh, carbohydrates like rice, then you have fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. which are important sources of both carbohydrates, fiber, and micronutrients. Okay. So just mix and match different types of food that will... Uh, fit those proportions yes. of carbohydrates and uh, protein and fats and fiber and a glass of milk. Mm -hmm. Yung glass of milk, kung makikita mo yung illustration yun, meron siyang milk doon. Yeah. And that can be Pediasure Plus, which also has, by the way, we are talking about immunity a while ago. Yes. Symbiotics, <gasps> which has prebiotics and probiotics. Good for the gut. Yes. Good for the gut, absorption of nutrients, and also good for the immune system. Mm -hmm. Okay. On. okay. <laughs> Completo na. Thank you so much for that, yes. Doc. Now, before I let both of you go, because I know that you're, you're about to spread the word yes. about National Growth Check Day. Um, really quick, Doc, just in case they want to get their hands on, okay. on the growth chart. Once again, where again, can they get so that? this is the growth growth chart. Mm -hmm. You can get it. You can get it from. Um, you can request for it through the uh, 
Facebook site of uh, Abbott. It's, it's called um, Alagang Abbott uh, Facebook. And you can also go to um, and call the, our customer service hotline, 995-1555, yes. and request for it. And you can also go to our website, pdassure.com.ph, mm -hmm. and you can request for this. And it's free. It's, and free. it's free. We it's can't free. stress it's enough free. that it's free. And can I just add one more about the, because today is a special day. It's mm -hmm. a growth check day. We have um, nutritionists, dietitians on standby. By calling that same number, 995-1555, you can ask for nutritional advice <gasps> if you want more information Simple. about the product. <laughs> and you can also ask them for meal plans for your picky My eating meal child. Plans Creative ways also yeah. to prepare food. They can advise you on that. So, so again, that's take advantage of that. Dot com dot dot ph. Ph. And the number is 995-1555. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Jun Melissa. Um, if there are any parents uh, out there, picky eaters who are listening, Advice, kapit lang. Um, advice, uh, yung food, just keep trying and trying and offering them yung mga healthy foods. And mm -hmm. of course, yung milk, sobrang big help sa akin because she wouldn't eat at all that yeah, day. Okay. Or she just wanted to play. Mm -mm. Pero ngayon, she's starting to eat, she's starting to gain appetite. And even my followers, they're commenting on my IG na, Oy, ba't biglang lumaki si Kiera? And then biglang to, lumulusog, tumataba, ganyan. So natutuwa ako. I can really see the difference mm -hmm. in the in the one year that I've been using Pedia Sure okay. for... Pediasure Plus for Kara, and okay. I would advise the moms to try. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys are having a hard time, I mean, why not? Yeah. Try, um, and it's, for me, it's really effective. Okay. Oh. Well, thank you so much, Melissa. Uh, Doc June, thank you again. I learned so much uh, from both of you. So again, like, comment, and share if you are a parent or you know parents na medyo picky eaters yung mga anak, you might want to put them on Pediasure Plus. That's yes, correct. Definitely. Thank you so much <laughs> yeah. for joining us today. Bye. Thank you. Bye.